things that it crossed my head when I learned about it and when Hello everybody, welcome back to Faith Essence and Life. What a beautiful day it is for me and I pray that you're also having a very, very, very spectacular, a very fantastic day. From wherever you are in the world, remember the good Lord loves you very much. You are the apple of his eyes that you should know and you should never forget that. So guys, today I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just here to make you aware of something. Also, that is something that also I've been made aware of. And I don't think it's right. I don't think it's wrong. And I, I have no objections, but it's just one of those things that it crossed my head when I learned about it and when, when, when it was shared to me. So I felt like, um, let me hear your side of the story. Let me hear what is your input in this. Let me hear what you, what, 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 what you think about this. Because actually, remember I said we are here to learn together and we are here to actually uncover things together. So this time around we're doing these things all the way together. So basically, basically what it is, is actually, let me just put inverted commas, the word may yes the word may but in a natural fact let me just start from the start where i actually also had to go back and like do my own analysis so first and foremost the bible has got so many translations right for an example we've got yours esv we have got kjv we've got nas we've got niv and yes i'm looking down because i don't know all of them and also Excuse me, I'm not also a, I'm not a Bible scholar, and I'm also still learning a few things, a lot of things, and I really appreciate God's grace for actually making me aware of certain things. So yeah, being the Bible having so many different um, translations, uh, all of these translations they translate the word in different ways, right? Some Bibles write. A message or convey the message in a certain manner and then when you go and you consult on another version or somebody who has got another version it is actually going to tell you something else so basically this is what we are here to do today now how all of this or how these awakening or how these was made aware of to me was um, one particular day I was jogging and while jogging I was busy talking to another faithful friend of mine and uh, at the end, uh, we were talking, and then at the end of like, may God bless you. Yes, I said, may God bless you. And then, beloved friend, Anonymous, uh, said to me, um, why do you say, may God bless me? And I was like, oh, what is wrong with that, you know? And then he was like, um, I, you, you don't have to say may. And then I was like, since when we don't say may because the bible says so the bible quotes of verses or right or in the bible those verses that are written like that why are you saying uh, i shouldn't say may and then he explained to me he was so kind to explain to me why he felt like i shouldn't mention or i, should, I shouldn't say may basically what he said was um he said i quote I feel like when you say may and then you say that the message is like you are minimizing the message or you're minimizing the blessing. It's one of those things like when you go and you say may God bless you, may God grant you. It's like we, this, this is him saying, it's not, it's not me. So please hear me well. Uh, and then he said like, it's, it's like you are minimizing or you are limiting God's blessing. So in other words, you should not say, may God bless you. I should say, God bless you. Of which it is still okay. But I mean, like most of the times when we are blessing other people according to the word, we take it upon or, or we take it from the Bible verses, right? So now I went ahead and then I read him a Bible verse and uh, that was like, I quoted John, John 15 verse 11 
as well as First Kings uh, chapter 8, verse 57. And then I quoted also the Torah. I'm gonna write these ones down so that you guys can also like go ahead and read for yourselves. Because all of these verses right here, they contain the word may, 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 may the whole time, you know. So yeah, it goes and the Deuteronomy 5, chapter uh, chapter 5, verse 33, as well as Jude chapter 1, verse 2. So I went ahead and I read all of these Bible verses. Now, the problem was the translation, which is according to these ones, they were on ESV. So ESV actually goes directly and says, May, may, may. Like for an example of John, it says, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy be in you, and that you and that your joy may be full. Right? And in um and the Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 33 actually like has got a whole lot like it, it says the word may repeatedly like listen it says you shall walk in the in the way that the Lord God the Lord your God has commanded you that you may live that's the first way that you may live and that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land that you shall possess there's three maids already in that so it got me confused I was like so now you want to tell me that this is also a minimal this is also limiting a blessing because now it's written it's a bible scripture and and it's, it's a, and then and then he said to me what bible translation is that and then i was like okay i went to check because i didn't know i wasn't away so after checking i saw that it was esv and he was actually reading a different translation so because because of that now the messages came across like they were clashing and i was like but then now what now to people who are using esv do you think that they're reading the wrong message or maybe you're thinking the word may it's kind of like outdated because basically he was reading from a very it's as a very recent version like those new versions happen again like this very very recent versions maybe some of them that were done, done 10 years ago five years ago so this is the version he was reading from. Let me read it for you. The Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33. So, he was reading from New International Reader's Version. So, that is the, uh, the, the translation that he was reading. And it reads as for the text. Live exactly as the, as the Lord your God has commanded you to live. Then you will enjoy in the land you will soon own. Things will go well with you and uh, things will go well with you there. You will live there for a long time. I, there's no may at all. So I was like, in a way you are right, but also you're being backed up by the kind of version that you are reading. So what about some of us who do not have the new international reader's version? You know, so um, and then to conclude all of this, I just, I just, I just thought to myself, I asked him, I was like, so now what about those who are using different versions from yours? Do you think they, they, if they say these things to you with containing the, the word may, is it like minimizing or is it limiting the blessing that they are sending to you or they proclaiming or, 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 or declaring to you? I was like, no, but he said, he said, I feel like people should start uh, unlearning certain things, which is okay, which is good, which is good. But then in conclusion, you guys, I just want you guys to type down below, what do you think about this? Do you think it's wrong to still say, may God bless you? Because yes, Bible versions, many, 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 many Bible versions like ESL, ESV, NIV, King James even, they all contain the word may. So what do we do? What do we do? Because at the end of the day, we want to send a message. At the end of the day, we want to continue blessing people. At the end of the day, we would also want to also feel the contentment. And yes, then we show into good value umla mo ogo to ushiro umundo, but not knowing ogo ti we are mukuba umundo or maybe it's not sufficient enough. So my conclusion was like, if you are reading any kind of Bible version, if it fulfills you, if it gives you content, if it, if, 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 it, if, if, if it makes you feel like you have, you have read literally or you have gotten the message how you wanted to get or you have passed the message how you wanted to pass, I think it's still okay. Because if we were to go on about this, like actually, hey, yeah, there, there would be like a whole commotion. So yeah, I believe 
any other version that you're reading, it's still okay. And even if there's a may, I mean, according to the translation, that's what the Bible is saying. So it is what it is. And that brings me to the end of this video. Wow, I said I was going to do this for five minutes, but it's almost ten minutes. Bye-bye. I love you. You're blessed. Stay sane and stay faithful and keep sanity and stay in your prayers. God is so real. I love you. Bye.